What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video. Today real quick I'm gonna share with you guys my hack pro. We're back with the part two. You guys wanted to see some benchmark. Also you guys wanted to see how I managed to uh, build this hack pro. Now guys, keep in mind one thing. I bought this case almost ready. So this case was bare bone to begin with. There was nothing in it. Whatever you see, that's all I got with this case, okay? It was a bare bone case. The person who sold me this case, he already did uh, most of the modification like taking the uh, optical drive taking the hard drive bay out power supply everything so basically i bought this case for 20 dollars because he didn't have any time to finish this build so that's the reason if you guys see anything missing in this case because i bought this case like the only thing i did i modified the rear io and also i had to modify the atx stands off i'm really happy with how this build came out now today i will only show you guys how i installed everything now you are not going to see how i um, mount the stands off or how i cut the uh, io shield it was raining bad my father was helping me and uh, I didn't want it to take my camera out so that's the reason you guys are not going to uh, see all right guys so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into the purse list now the motherboard i picked up for this build asus b450-f gaming motherboard now this motherboard is one of my go-to favorite motherboard i've been using this motherboard for almost a year i use this motherboard with my ryzen 7 2700 cpu uh, also with the ryzen third gen uh, ryzen 5 3600 cpu so yes so far i have no complaint with this motherboard and the cpu i have in this build amd ryzen 5 2600 cpu that's a six core cpu with 12 thread you cannot go wrong with this cpu if you can find a ryzen 5 2600 cpu right now for maybe 120 or even all the way up to like uh, 130 still worth it still got the uh, performance and trust me guys maybe not par with ryzen 5 3600 uh, but the cpu is still good for budget builders now i'm going to use a stock uh, cooler so because i'm not going to overclock because the problem is uh, last time i tried to overclock my ryzen torch and for some reason system wasn't booting up so that's the reason i'm sticking with the stock ryzen 5 2600 cooler and i'm not um, going with the aftermarket cooler so that's how i got to save a little bit more money because i didn't spend extra money on the cooler also the graphics card i got for this uh build asus rx580 you can pick up this card use from ebay for now for maybe around hundred dollar so if you do look around in ebay you will get great deals so i would highly recommend you know going ebay and maybe look around now the rams i have in this build these are g scale uh 3200 uh, megahertz rams you can pick up these rams for around like 60 dollar but if you can get like a faster rams like maybe uh 3600 megahertz i would highly recommend because as you guys know ryzen perform really well with um higher megahertz uh rams so i would highly recommend now i'm using 8 gig if you want you can use 8 gig or 16 gig even all the way up to 32 gig but for gaming and like video editing and stuff 8 gig more than enough so Keep that in mind. Now the power supply I have in this build, EVGA 600B 80 plus bronze power supply. You can pick up this power supply brand new from uh, Newegg maybe for around $65. Now price does fluctuate, so remember. And also I picked up this power supply used for like uh, 15 or 20 dollar i don't remember exact but i don't recommend you guys buying like a used power supply but i would highly recommend maybe go with the brand new power supply all right guys now you do have a option to use either ssd or a nvme drive now i used a nvme drive in this build but if you want to use like a uh, ssd you can also do but then you have to run like an extra uh, sata cable in there so for uh cable uh management sake i didn't use a ssd i did use a uh, cheap inland 120 gig uh nvme ssd from micro center for around 35 uh, dollar 
Now let's just jump into the case. So the case I picked up for this a uh, build, of course, Apple Power Mac a G5 2004 case. Uh, if you do pick up this case, you do have to do a lot of uh, modification. You have to take out the all the uh, Power Mac G5 um, hardware out, and also you have to break all the stands off, and then you have to modify the rear I/O, and also you have to uh, modify the stands off for uh, ATX motherboard. So guys, let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into the build. And after that, I'll show you guys a quick uh, benchmark and let me know what you guys think. Keep in mind this build is not fully done yet I still need to install some fans I still need to figure out how I'm going to do that now most of the time I do have the front panel open and also my room temperature is not all that hot again uh, I still need to do some wearing for the front panel but I did figure out the power button cable so power button does work all right guys as you guys can see finally hack pro running 
perfect and yes some of you guys always ask me can you dual boot uh, Hackintosh and have like windows on the uh, like same drive yes you can uh, create two partition in one drive and basically how that work uh, you have to install the Mac OS first and then you have to go to like the disk utility and then you have to go to partition and you can create another partition but first you have to install Mac OS and after that you have to create the partition. So basically this is exactly what I did. I installed Mac OS Catalina uh, 10.15 running smooth and after that I went to disk utility and I just uh, you know create a partition for Windows um, you know um, I kept around like 76 gig uh, space and for Mac uh, I have around a uh, 50 gig. Now the reason I'm using this small drive because I'm just testing for you guys. Now normally if I was planning on dual booting uh, you know with this computer I will definitely use like at least a 500 gig drive or at least a one terabyte SSD drive. So yes you can use NVMe drive. Uh, I know some of you guys have problem with NVMe uh, you know drive but yes you can use. I'm using a cheap inland 128 gig NVMe drive and so far the system is running uh, perfect. So we are in Clover boot manager right now. First I will boot into Mac OS Catalina and I'll show you guys a couple of the uh, benchmark uh, I ran. So I'll show you guys and after that we'll jump into Windows 10 and I'll show you guys uh, my favorite game Apex Legend because that's the only game I play. Uh, I can't really install any other games because uh, I don't have space. Like I said, this drive is only for testing purpose so I can show you guys how this system is uh, performing. So let's just jump in Mac OS Catalina. Now if you guys want me to uh, make a video on like um, in a dual vote, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up and also let me know if you guys want like a dual boot video step by step. I can show you guys you know uh, how to install uh, Mac OS Catalina then uh, create a uh, partition and then install Windows uh, 10. So we are in Mac OS Catalina right now. Let me type my password. And hopefully you guys can see clearly because at this very moment I don't know where is my capture card. So we are in Mac OS Catalina. We are running um, uh, Mac OS Catalina version 10.15. Uh, and then uh, we have the processor uh, 3.9 gigahertz showing. So we have a Ryzen 5 2600 uh, CPU and we have our uh, G scale rib jaws uh, 8 gig RAMs uh, running at 2933. I don't know why the speed showing here 2133. The graphics card I'm using my Asus RX uh, 580 8 gig uh, variant. So Cinebench uh, CPU score was uh, 2888 uh, PTS. PTS, okay. And let's just jump into Blackmagic. All right. So even you are uh, using a cheap NVMe drive, you'll still get good performance. So you guys can see I'm using an inland $35 NVMe SSD and my uh, write speed around 446 and read speed is around uh, 1318. So that's pretty good for a, a $35 NVMe SSD, like an inland SSD. I think you guys can find inland SSD uh, maybe in Amazon. Uh, you guys can check it out. Uh, if I can find one, I'll leave a link in the video description. So the disk speed is pretty good. Now, if we go to Nova Bench now, Nova Bench, uh, the only problem I seen in Nova Bench, so basically, uh, Nova Bench, the CPU score is lower. I don't know why. Uh, if we look at the Nova Bench, uh, uh, total score is around uh, 1167. I don't know why Nova Bench is not utilizing the uh, full potential of the CPU. Uh, now, if you look at the GPU score, it's pretty good, 443. And also, uh, disk score, uh, the write speed is a little lower. Uh, the write speed is 359 MB, but the read speed is around 1538. Now, the RAM score is pretty okay, uh, 231. Go to Blender. So, Blender, um, you guys are not going to see the render time here, but um, the Blender uh, image render test with the CPU was around uh, 4 minutes and 29 seconds. So 
seems okay, but I feel like uh, Mac OS Catalina is not utilizing the CPU uh, properly. So I have to look into this. Maybe I have to do something with the power management or something. Uh, I just installed Mac OS Catalina uh, yesterday. So I didn't really get to like uh, play around with the settings or anything. So I have to jump into maybe Clover and maybe just add some other kicks and stuff. So the system still not fully done, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway. All right. So let's just close blender and let's go to Luxmark. now the reason i'm showing you guys Luxmark because with Luxmark you guys can see uh, the opencl uh performance so opencl score looks okay not not too bad uh, uh 13,512. so that's okay that's not bad so Luxmark is pretty good so gpu is running okay but if you guys think uh, the score is lower then please let me know in the comment section and let's just move on and I want to show you guys Xcode so I have a little demo Xcode project I was basically working on uh, just to show you guys so all right so we have Xcode uh, running I don't know why it's not showing my project here so let's just press play and uh, you guys will see All right, there you go. We have iPhone 11 Pro Max. And here's my tiny app right here. So basically that's the icon and a subscribe button. Now when you click on the subscribe button, it will just take you to my YouTube channel. So this project is just for testing purpose, okay? So don't take this, uh, you know, app or whatever uh, seriously i just wanted to show you guys that does work uh there is no bug or anything now you guys can see uh, now my youtube channel and everything works perfect even the sound work of course What's up, guys? all right so we can close uh xcode right now and i want to show you guys how about final cut if you guys want to see final card you can see final card open and yeah uh, the final card uh, I have here it's the trial version now any of you guys want to try out like final card uh, you can always download from uh, Apple store the trial version and you can try out for like 30 days so final card is pretty good if you just want to you know test and maybe just you know feel how is final card before you purchase and I think 30 days is a pretty good time uh, you know so yes I would highly recommend uh, if you're having problem with uh, maybe Premiere or anything, try Final Cut. Now, one more thing I just want to clear, guys. Uh, you guys always ask me about uh, it'll be uh, uh, Premiere or, you know, Photoshop and, and, and everything. Uh, so, any application from Adobe doesn't work all that great with AMD. I feel like those applications were just built for maybe uh, Intel. If you are really into, uh, you know, uh, Adobe applications, you know, for if you use Adobe Premiere and stuff, I will highly recommend maybe build like an Intel Hackintosh build and yeah, we'll be happy with All right. Uh, so now we'll just close this and we'll restart and we'll just jump into uh, the Windows partition. So if you guys want to see how to create partition uh you know uh for like dual booting and if you guys want me to show you step by step i'll be more than happy just don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, let me know okay if you want to see like a step by step dual boot guide and i'll be more than happy to show you guys so right now we are booting into uh actually we are in uh clover right now clover boot manager and from there we'll just jump into uh windows all right, so we are um, booting into right now Windows 10 Pro. Works perfect, guys. Works like charm. All right, as you guys know, Windows and update. All right, and type the password. All right, so you guys can see we are in uh, Windows uh, 10 right now, and Windows 10 is running perfectly fine. And now, if we go to, let me just knock the volume out a little bit, and all right so windows 10 
I don't really use Windows 10 for like my uh, work purpose a lot because I use the Hacken Torch or my uh, you know my uh, laptop MacBook Air but I definitely use Windows 10 for making guide for you guys I use Windows 10 for gaming so yes I do have soft side for Windows uh, 10 but again I'm big fan of uh, Mac OS so I'm not trying to choose or pick any side um, I just think Windows 10 I need Windows 10 for running this channel I also need my Mac OS for editing my videos and stuff because uh, Final Cut Pro and iMovie is really easy to use and if you are a first timer you are starting a YouTube channel or you know whatever you are planning on doing with content creation then Mac OS is great you know for music production uh, you know video production you can go wrong with a Mac OS you know Mo Mac OS Mojave or Mac OS Catalina definitely all right so let's just jump into the game Alright guys, so <laughs> you guys got the point, uh, I suck, but as you guys can see, if you're planning on building a Ryzen Torch or even a Hacken Torch, you can dual boot, you can run, uh, you know, Mac OS on one partition and then run like Windows 10 on the other partition. And also if you make like three partition, you can have uh, Linux also. So yes, this system is really fun to play with because I have uh, dual uh, boot uh, setup and anytime uh, I'm not working so I can just uh, get out from Mac OS Catalina and just get into Windows 10 and then play game and then when I, you know, when I'm bored again, I can go back to Mac OS and just do my work. So guys, if you do like this type of video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, see you guys next one.